<laughs> okay, you guys, you need to keep yourself muted. Okay, don't unmute yourself. Keep yourself muted. Otherwise, it messes up the main screen as well as done. Okay, thank you. Okay. Maria, unmute yourself, Maria. Good morning. Good morning, but keep yourself muted, okay? Don't press unmute. Okay, right. Okay, let me see. Da, da, da. Okay, so everyone can hear me. Yeah? Just put your thumbs up on the screen. I can see most of you. Um, so just put your thumbs up if you can hear me. Christoph, yeah. Lola can hear me. Rodrigo, Maria can hear me. And Maria. Excellent. Who else is here? Emilia, but I can't see you. Emilia, have you got a video? Emilia, if you've got a, a video, try and see if you can turn on your video. Rodrigo, I couldn't see that. Something written there, but okay. Right. Uh, I'm not sure I'll go back to me. Martina is waiting. In you come, Martina. Okay. Let me see how this works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, sorry guys, I'm just playing about a bit, just trying to figure this out, and then we'll get started in a minute. Okay, uh, da, da, da. I don't know why, but I've still got Maria as my main screen. And not me. What about the rest of you? Who's who's the main person on the screen? Is it me or is it Maria? Me? If it's me, put your thumbs up. If I'm the main person on your screen, good, good, good. Okay, for some reason, Maria, I've got you as my main. Don't turn your video off. Just. Uh, know that I've got you as my main screen, but I'm sure that's okay if the rest of you haven't got that. Okay, right, so let's get started. Um, today we're going to be talking about mixtures. Uh, what we're going to do, this is really weird not talking to in the classroom situation, it's my first time doing an online lesson, but we'll, we've only got about 40 minutes maximum on this, on this platform, so we'll, uh, we'll get cracking. Just need to admit Mauricio, should be in as well. Yep. Okay. Mauricio's coming in. Right. So as I was saying, we're going to be talking about mixtures. Um, we start off by talking about word equations. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about what you've got to do, and later you go away and complete the work. So I'll show you the PowerPoint. We'll go through that a little bit. Um, we'll also uh, I'm going to be doing a little demonstration as well. So a little bit of a practical demonstration for you guys too. Okay, so first of all, I'll bring up the PowerPoint. Da, 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 da. Let me just find the PowerPoint. Where is it? Da, 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 da. Uh, let's see if that's the right one. No, that's not it. This is okay. We'll get there. Okay, where's my? Oh, that's the one I want. Technology, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the one I want. And it's just taking over and waiting. I think because now I'm on this and got the traffic, it's going really slow. Uh, I had it all loaded up before, but now it seems to be refreshing. Okay, come on, tick, 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 tick. We're getting somewhere. Okay. 
Okay, word equations. Hopefully you can all see that. I can't see you anymore, but hopefully you can see that. So we're going to start with word equations. What I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to explain what we, we mean by word equations. And then later, after the video, that's when you go away and make your notes. You access this PowerPoint and you go through the slides as we're doing to now today and, um, and access it. Okay, so writing a word equation. I have to find my buttons here. Writing a word equation. So when we are writing a word equation, we are writing the chemicals, the, the names of the chemicals. No, no, it's back in. Yes, yeah, sorry, my computer's going really slow now. Here we go. Okay. So, as you can see, so on the when you've got a word equation and you're familiar with word equations, you've seen them quite a few times now. Um, we saw them in photosynthesis, for example, and we talked about um, carbon dioxide plus uh, carbon, I'm sorry, carbon dioxide plus water reacts to make glucose plus oxygen. That's a word equation. So when you write a word equation on the left hand side, you see here on the left hand side, you put the names of the reactants. The things on the left hand side of the arrow are called the reactants. If there are more, if there are, sorry, if there are two or more reactants, we link them with the plus sign. So as in the case of carbon dioxide plus water, that is two reactants. Sometimes it might only be one reactant, okay? So pay attention to that as well. You'll see an example of that later. In the middle of the word equation, write and draw an arrow, and that shows the, what that um, stands for, reacts to make, okay? So that's what that literally means. So in the case, again, of photosynthesis, I said carbon dioxide plus water, reacts to make, when you've got the arrow, glucose plus oxygen would be on the other side. And that is on the right-hand side of the arrow, where you put the name of the products. If there are two more products, again, you link them with a plus sign. So that's pretty straightforward, it should be. So in the example of lead, lead reacts with oxygen to form lead oxide. So what is the word equation for this reaction? So we've got lead plus oxygen, there's Javi has just arrived. Lead plus oxygen reacts to make lead oxide. So on the left-hand side, I'm pointing on the screen, but you can't actually see it as my arrow. Lead and oxygen, these are the reactants. You've got the arrow showing reacts to make, and then you've got lead oxide. That is the product. So on the left-hand side, the reactants. On the right-hand side, the products. If you look at lead, lead, you know, is a, is a metal. Oxygen, colorless gas, but lead oxide, if you compare the picture, so the other two pictures, it looks nothing like its, uh, its, its reactants. So what's happening? Okay, so what's happening? The lead and oxygen don't mix together. They don't stay as lead and oxygen. They are reacting. And their reaction is um, what forms lead oxide. So what's actually happening is that the lead and oxygen atoms in the product to join differently. Here's another person arriving, Adriana. The lead and the oxygen atoms in the products are joining differently to the atoms and the reactants. So the atoms that form lead and the atoms that form oxygen, when they react, they reform and form something new. Don't worry about the glove, it's, it's, uh, it's for later. Okay, so you've got the, the lead atoms, you've got the oxygen atoms. This is lead, this is oxygen, they look very different. But when they join and a reaction takes place, they form something new, which looks different to the original reactants. Okay, so that's what's happening. Moving on to mixtures. So I've got my little blue circle going, looking over. Come on. Okay, right, so uh, you're going to complete these. The, the word equations for the following chemical reactions. You'll have to um, complete those three. You can see um, the first one example there. You've got calcium carbonate. Now, this is what I said before, that the, re the reactants don't always have to have be mixing with something else. In this case of calcium carbonate, it's been heated, and the heat causes it to react with the oxygen in the air. And that's then what forms calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Okay. Right, so mixtures. Mixtures 
when we talk about mixtures, we have got the difference between what we're talking about before, where the reactants, when a compound is formed, when the atoms chemically join, in a mixture, they don't react, okay? So in a mixture, the, the, the reactants, well, the, the individual, so before I had lead and oxygen, in a mixture, they are not chemically joining at all. They stay in their current state. They just interact with each other, they move around each other. In the case of seawater, for example, which is a mixture of salts, uh, water, and other substances as well. Okay, think about sea, think about what might be in it. You can, you can uh, imagine what it's made up of. Mixture is not the same as a compound, okay? So the proportions of the substance and mixture are not fixed. The properties of mixture are an average of the properties of its ingredients. For an example, a mixture of a black and white powder is- I'm sorry. Mute yourself, thank you. The substances in a mixture are just mixed, uh, not chemically joined, so it is usually quite easy to separate the ingredients. Um, for example, we can get salt from seawater. Um, I'm sure you'd be able to tell me straight away how you could do that. I get some seawater, I put it in an evaporating dish, I put it in a nice warm windowsill, uh, leave it for a couple of days, the water, <laughs> Lola's laughing away like a, a little, uh, turkey there, uh, the water will evaporate and the, the salt will be left behind. So that shows even though we can't see the salt within the solution, the salt is there. Okay, right, clicking on. Mister? Uh, Rodrigo. Do we have to copy that? No, you will have to do it later, Rodrigo, okay? You have to okay. Copy. Thank you, okay. Right, so let me just go out of here now and stop the share stop the share okay so back to the main screen uh where i can see you again right then so what i said was i'm going to demonstrate now a little bit of you can all hear me right so i don't need to use i don't need to use this okay so what i'm going to do is do a little demonstration now and i just need to move some stuff around at the moment, is there any questions? I think there's a little feature somewhere where you can put a hand up if you want to ask a question. Uh, not, not physically, Rodrigo. I mean, you can, I think there's a little button somewhere where you can put a hand up to, to ask a question. Can you see that anywhere on the bottom screen? I can see there's, there's lots of stuff going on in the chat there. So what are substances? Okay, right. Do we have to copy that? No. Uh, Mr. We have right. There. Yeah, the, the what I've just gone through, you go through after. I'm just then talking about it, and then after this video call, you can then get the PowerPoint again. It's the same PowerPoint. Matthew, are you on mute? Yeah, let's just switch to you. Um, you need to then work through what I've just been talking about, copying the notes and doing the examples afterwards. Okay, that's what you will need to do after. So let me just check if there's any other questions. Okay, right. Okay, all right. Let's just keep the um, the chat for any questions. Um, if you see the hand up feature, use that. If you have another question as well. Right. So on to mixtures demonstration. Right. Let me see where we are. I'm here. I've got my uh, science uh, t-shirt on. My Schrodinger's cap. If anyone who knows that, if you don't know it, look it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Right. First thing. I need to do a bit of movement here of things so you can see me well. Let's turn this. Okay. And then, right, let's see how this will work. I had to just hold this for a little bit. Keep yourself muted. Right, don't, don't mess about, don't press on mute. All right, this is recording as well, by the way. Okay, so all your mess about, please, please keep me safe. Just keep yourself on music and just watch and uh, whatever. Right, so, first of all, I've got a little bowl here. I've got some salt. You can see normal table salt. I'm just going to pour that into the bowl. And then I'm going to add some pepper. Okay, that's the strength of pepper. Right, so, I'm not sure how good the quality is on Zoom, but um, I'll show you in there, you can see that, you know, pretty much you can see there's a mixture of, you can see the salt and pepper. If I stir it, you can still see the salt and pepper, okay? Salt and pepper exists in that bowl as a mixture. No reaction is taking place. They're not chemically joined. I could possibly separate the two as well. 
one. So that is an example of a mixture. Okay, so that's the straightforward one. All right, next one. Got my glass here. If you can, I just have to turn the screen now. Okay, so honey. I'm going to stick the honey into the glass. Nice big dollop of honey. There we go. There's the honey. Oh, I still can't eat the stuff. I've only got a week and a half left of that diet, but there's, there's the honey in there. That's good. I'm now going to add some water. There goes the water. Like that. Now, I can, so far, I can still see Above it, and now I'm going to add my third addition, which is oil. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but as it's landing in the water, it's coming down into the water, but then rising back up to the top, rising back up to the surface here. And I don't know where you can see that happening. You can see it looping down. And then rising back up, yeah. So now I have got a mixture form. I've got the honey at the bottom, the water in the middle, and the oil at the top. And the way it's formed shows a clear mixture. There's no reaction taking place. Nothing's going to be joined. It still exists. There's honey, water, and oil. Now, at this stage, I'd normally ask you. Is the oil sitting on top of the water like that? Okay, why is the oil sitting on top of the water? Anyone know? Anyone put a hand up and explain to me why the water oil is sitting on top of the water? Go on then, Lola, unmute yourself and then speak. <laughs> because they can mix. <laughs> why can't they mix? Why, why can't they mix? Why is the oil? On top of the water. No? Anyone else? Right here? Want to go? Unmute yourself. Because it's denser than the water. Oh, good, good answer, but it means it's less dense than the water, which is why it sits on top. It's less dense, it's, it's lighter. The particles in oil take up less space, uh, have less mass than the particles of water. So they basically get pushed up, okay, squeezed out and pushed up. And are supported by the water. There's a nice clear example. So I'm just going to try this little addition. I've got a little bit of food coloring here. Okay, so you can see that. And I'm going to add a couple of drops into the oil. See what happens here. There's my sound effects. It's looking good. Uh, a bit of blue as well. Okay. Right, so now I've added a bit of food coloring. Now you can see that those, hopefully, you can see those drops of food coloring have become suspended in the mixture, suspended in the oil. Now, what I'm going to do now, let's see, sometimes as an eye, there's a nice one happening there. Sometimes these kind of go off as fireworks. You can see the sun through so as get through the oil and into the water where it starts to diffuse through the water and spread around. What would I have to do? Oh, my, my colouring on my fingers. I used the wrong hand. Should have used the other hand. Anyway, um, let's give this a stir. See what happens. Okay. So, I have given it a mix, okay, I've given it a nice stir, there we go, you can see that it's changed a little bit, the oil has gone back up to the surface, the honey is still on the bottom, the water is, is in the middle, but the water has changed colour thanks to the food colouring which is dispersed, this is still a mixture, no reaction has occurred, okay, so it's still a mixture, there's another example, right, so that's a mixture of liquids, all of those three 
oil, water, honey, all in liquid form. Let's have a look at the next one. So, we've got a glass. I'm going to add some pork. First of all, flour. Yeah, add the water. There's the water. Okay. I might add a little bit more. There we go. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Give yourself new tears. Right, I'm going to weigh it to see how much it is at the moment. 370 grams, okay? So it's currently 370 grams of in total, okay? Change in size, 368. So that's 368. Now, I'm going to add to this one some sugar. Okay, so I've, I'm going to add the sugar. Mister. Yeah. I cannot hear you really well because your voice is like really deep. Okay, well I'll continue. I think most people can hear me. I'll I'll speak louder so you can hear me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then I see yourself again. Right, I'm gonna add thirty. Well, thirty-two grams here of sugar. So I've got thirty-two grams of sugar. I put the water back on. Let's go back on. So the water there. How much was the water again? One sec, let me just play this. There's the let's get Mister, zero. We don't see the what the the mass. We don't see the yeah, no. I don't know how good the screen light thing how clear it is. Three hundred and seventy. Okay, so three hundred and six seventy grams. The sugar was thirty grams, yeah? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour the sugar in. You should see the mass changing. Yeah, it goes up to 402, so 32, I said it was 32 grams of sugar, 270 grams of water, 402, so it says it's there. Now let's stir it. Now, if I stop stirring, you might still see sugar. I put quite a lot in, and it's still... Yeah, there's still clearly sugar because if you can it, it means that, you know, some of it dissolves, some of it can't dissolve. Mr. Foley, <laughs> Sarah is still, oh, yeah. Sarah is telling me yeah. that yes, she you. wants to come in, but she can't. Yeah, she missed the dead. Okay, let me just say, okay, let me just... Let me, let me just okay. Okay, they're in. They should have been here at 11 to start at 11, and I stopped looking at 5 past 11. Okay, yeah. Mister, your voice is very far away. Yeah, yes. I'm speaking up. You guys just listen. Keep yourself. What is bypaster? Keep yourself muted. Otherwise, I'm going to let me just go here and allow and stop you from allowing yourself to speak like that because it just interrupts. There we go. You're muted. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, I say about the sugar. Okay, let's see. There we go. So, I say about the sugar, that uh, some of it has dissolved. There's clearly less sugar than I put in. But the key thing, the mass is the same 402. If I manage to get rid of all of that sugar, if I manage to dissolve all of it, the mass would still read 402. So, even though we can't see it, I've dissolved it in the water. It still exists. Even though I can't see it, it's still a mixture. The sugar is still there, just in small particles. It's dissolved in water. Okay? Right, so that's sugar and water. Sorry about the noise. Right. Okay, so very important at the moment that we are um, washing our hands. And um, you might have seen this before. I'm going to put some pepper in the water. Okay, so the pepper's going in the water. Lots of pepper. Now, this is why we talk about washing our hands. Because if I put my hands, my finger, let me just move my computer a bit so you can see it. Rodrigo, no, no questions at the moment. I'm going to ask questions at the end. 
So let's just see. Can you see? Hopefully, you can see the surface. If I put my finger in water, the pepper sticks to my finger. Okay, sticks to my finger. Now, if I go away and I wash my hands with soap, keeping an eye on what happens to those germs, these peppers representing germs, I wash my hands, I put my finger in the bowl, and Oh, you can see out there the pepper is all moving away, it's running away from my fingers. Okay, it's all gone right out to the outside. I don't know where you can see that, but that's what's happening. Okay. Last one. No, I'm not thirsty. I'm not allowed to drink this still, unfortunately, but anyway, I'm, I wouldn't drink it again anyway. It's not stuff. Bottle of Coke. What we see, we see a liquid. Okay, we see a liquid in there. But we look at the ingredients, it contains loads and loads of stuff. Okay, uh, especially well, water I and mean, lots and lots of sugar. It also contains gas, and we can't see the gas itself, but we know the gas is there because when I open the bottle, okay, I hear a noise and I see bubbles rising to the surface. I see the gas bubbles and this one's so the This is a little um, layer of bubbles there. Okay, it's a little layer of bubbles. And um, that is an example of an example of the mixture. So in these cases, what's contained here, the gas is contained in here, it's a mixture. Okay, it's not. It's a chemical reaction occurred when, when I opened it. It's just that the, the gas that was under pressure, or the pressure was released, the gas didn't escape. So another example of a mixture. So just to summarize, mixtures. <coughs> mixtures, no chemical reactions taking place. The atoms remain the same as they were at the beginning. So salt, salt is already a compound, a mixture of sodium and chloride. So I'm going to go back to the, the first one with the salt and the pepper. Salt is a compound, pepper is a compound. But put them together, no reaction occurs, and they stay as a mixture. Okay, so that's a mixture, and no chemical reaction occurs. Right, that is it. Uh, but now, let me just see, is there any questions? Does anyone have a question? Let me just go, if you have a question, put your hand up. Uh, Christoph, wait one second, please. Okay, let me just give you the option again to unmute yourself. Okay, Christoph. You can unmute yourself and then ask your question. Mister, I have a question. Can you like convince the other teachers to like make uh, Zoom video calls because they're kind of like at modus when you want to like see all the messages you have to reload all the time. Yeah, good good point, Christoph. We're going to um, we're you know at the beginning it's been really difficult for the teachers as well because we're we're having to adapt to a new method of teaching. Um, I've just been exploring Zoom a little bit, getting the hang of it. Um, I know that, for example, I can show the PowerPoints. I can even get a whiteboard up so you can see. Oh, okay. I'm running out of time. Um, the, uh, yeah, I can access a whiteboard as well. Um, so that I can even do like a bit here. Mr. There you go, you can see that I can access a whiteboard. I can draw on it. And stuff like that, blah blah blah. So, yeah, it's quite a good way. The other teachers have been um, encouraged to do so as well. Um, some of them are not as good at technology. They're not saying that I am, but um, but it, uh, I just think this is a more interactive way. You know, I'm on during the lessons. I might as well uh, be on to answer your questions as well. So, what we'll do each lesson, coming to you in a second, Marithia, um, what we'll do each lesson is have a little kind of like a bit of screen time as well where it's maybe towards the end of the lesson, last 10 minutes, where you can ask any question. Maybe at the beginning or maybe at the end. So you can ask questions and, and go ahead. So let's go on then, Marithia. That I, and that I saw everyone like looking down and I thought they were copying, but it didn't give me time to copy anything. So you don't have to copy now. You need to, the instructions are on Edmodo. Just go to the Edmodo instructions and follow as normal. Maria A. 
that Olivia also wants to come inside, but um. Okay, she's well. She's in. To put her in. Yeah, now she's in. I've got her now. Yeah, Olivia's in. Uh, Rodrigo. Is there that, like always in geography, like um, they put uh, something to do and they miss just bar like she didn't said us to do the work, like, I don't know what I have to do in your uh, You can ask your questions in the Edmodo. The best way to contact the teacher in the Edmodo is to send a message, a direct message, rather than post on the, on the, uh, on the page or in the, uh, in the assignment, because it doesn't update immediately like Facebook would. We have to keep refreshing it to see any comments. But if you do a direct message, in the top bar, there should be an option in Edmodo to message direct message and it comes up immediately. So please ask questions um, on Edmodo uh, like that. Let me just see, keep your hands up if you've got a question, I'll go along the top. So Christoph, and then I'll move from my left to right. Christoph, first then. Uh, and like, as well, when I reload Edmodo all the time, it like gets super laggy and after it just disappears. Yeah, sometimes with the problem at Edmodo is that half the world is on it at the moment, so it tends to be a bit laggy and a bit slow, okay? So I uh, just got to bear with it, guys. Uh, moving across my screen, let me see. Uh, that's Martina. Question, Martina. Mister, that um, so um, that now it's eleven thirty-one and the class has finished, and now we have to copy it all, and we're gonna be late to all our classes then. Uh, now you can treat it as a, like a homework task, okay? So fit it in within the day, okay? Mr. No, please. Mister. It's not fair. We have to copy. Mr. No. Have to copy? Uh, guys, keep yourself muted. Mr. Uh, I have a question. Uh, lower that, please. What? Lower that. Ah, lower that. How are we gonna? How are we gonna have time? Because maybe in the homework we have to do more things. And do you like my nails? Lovely nails, and um, you will have time. Okay, moving across the screen. Who's next? <laughs> Who did that? Brett, guys, don't listen. This will work if we do it properly. I need you to, Maria. Thank you. Okay. Uh, who's got a question? I've got another lesson now as well in uh, <coughs> four minutes. So, any more questions? Let me just go along. I've got to click along the top. Uh, Lola, while you're here. Mister, is it like, do you like online school or school? Uh, school, okay. Let me go, Rodrigo, you got a question? Mister. No, 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 keep yourself muted. Now we're gonna, do, now what we're gonna do? What do you mean now what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to your next lesson now. Uh, what? Yeah, you're going so to. We're gonna... So it's 11.32, the next lesson mm -hmm. starts. And I just, Mister, I just, I just have one question. You me, me. No, no, stop doing that. Stop doing that or I end it now. Just once. Just once. Oh, yeah. you, you need to keep yourself muted. You keep your hand up. I can see you. I will come to you and I will invite you to speak. If you start doing that, I'm just going to end the meeting now. Okay, be patient. Rodrigo, as I said, you, you, you continue with your lesson. Uh, if you, the work I said today, treat it as a homework task. I already said that once. Okay, Martina. Oh. Mute yourself, Martina. Unmute yourself, Martina. Okay, Martina's not able to do that. Um, who else has got a hand up? Martina, I can't hear you, but unmute yourself. Unmute. Okay, Adriana. Are we going to have to copy all the slides? Yeah, there's not that much, okay? There's not that much to do. Yeah. Um, so, now, go back to Martina. Are we going to keep doing this in science lessons? 
not every day because it's it's a lot of it's a lot of work but most lessons i said yeah we'll be doing video interaction okay lola um now why do you put so much work instead of <laughs> Wait, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Why do you put so much work? <laughs> like, uh, the, work, <laughs> the work for one day here is like the work for two days there. Yeah. It's not fair. Sorry. Coronavirus is not our fault. Okay. Mr. Mr. I just have one thing. <laughs> Mr. No. Okay, this is your. Right, so you've got to go. Nice seeing you. I hope you're. Bye. 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 So you won't be interrupting like that. Hi, Marcia. Yeah, stop taking screenshots and videoing it. All right. I've recorded this. I will put the recording on um, so that anyone who's missed it will be able to see it. Those of you who came late, please make sure you're on time next time. It's like at 11 o'clock. A lot of you go on 5 past, 10 past. You should be on at 10.50 on that photo of the lesson. So you've got to be on time. All right. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.